Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie member request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a Millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies. That's on Mondays, on Fridays, my top tier patrons, my Millennial Movie members. can pick a movie of any genre, any year, anything, and I'm gonna watch it. Now, today is one that I don't know, another one that I don't know how I have managed to go this long without seeing it. It is the 1976 Rocky. This is another movie that I think every sitcom just very reference, whether it be Friends, Family Guy, Bob's Burgers, like that will make reference to this movie as well. I know it's about a boxer dude. I know he runs up a bunch of stairs. There's another person named Adrian. I don't know who's in it off the top of my head. Like, I can see the dude, I can see Rocky, like, standing there right now. But I don't know who plays Rocky, does that make sense? I clearly haven't been able to let Hello Beans go. Get you a man that will chase after you, Mike Myers. And Jamie Lee Curtis is in The Knife, by the way. I think that's it for my preview review. It's a boxer that has a friend named Adrian, and he runs up a bunch of stairs. So, let's get right on into today's Millennium Movie member request, which is the 1976 Rocky. Is that De Niro or no, S uh, Stallone? Who plays Rocky? You feel strong. You feel strong? I need to place a bet. <laughs> you know, Blake's cousin likes to watch like MMA and, and fighting. And I watched it one night with them and um, and not for me. I started feeling really bad for the person who was all bloody in the ring. Like they're choosing to do that. I don't know, I could never do it. Hey, what? Well, yeah, you gotta have this one. Oh, the one he was curly head in his mouth he was smoking? Ooh, the Italian stallion. Ooh! $15 locker and corner man, $5 shower and towel and seven. Wow, like they have to pay a lot to fight. Sylvester Stallone, why did I think it was gonna be Robert De Niro? Look at that little puppy baby! That's what Rocky needs, him need a puppy. Rocky is all about taking other people's cigarettes, taking other people's alcohol. That's how you catch cooties. That's how you get something Ajax won't wash off. Oh, I did not know this was written by Sylvester. That's interesting. What are they? You want to see your friend Moby Dick, huh? Are they turtles? Yeah. There's a fish. Okay, so the other ones must be turtles. His hat hanger is a knife. This turtle food got here had more flies in it. This is going to be a very unpopular opinion. I hate how he talks out of his throat. He talks like this and it just doesn't really have any power behind it and he just keeps talking like that. I hate that. I'm going to need you to speak with your chest, your diaphragm, something. I need it to be a meteor. That's what she said. You're so shocked. You're starting with the bad jokes early, huh? <laughs> starting with the bad jokes early. Absolutely. So Adrian's gonna be his little love interest. Well, that's an interesting match. You wanna dance, you gotta pay the man. You understand? <laughs> you wanna ball, you gotta pay the man. So Rocky's also a collector for like the mob. Maybe, maybe it's not the mob, but he's just a collector. I love that he plays with a bouncy ball everywhere he goes. Like, that's fun. Did you get the license number? The what? The truck that ran over your face. <laughs> So remind your business, you just drive the car and mind your business. That's all you gotta do. When you don't do what I tell you to do, you make me look bad, right? Exactly. Exactly. It's not about you, Rocky, but about him. He gets laid off, right? He can't make it. Yeah, well, don't. Money. So your inhaler is not gonna help you if you don't hold it in a little bit. You gotta take a rest. No, my back is hurt. Your back? Is that a young Danny DeVito? Is that a baby DeVito? Oh, he just can't remember his lock combination. Okay. Or did somebody change the lock on him? Problem solved. Mickey tells me what to do, I gotta do it, right, Rock? I don't think that's Danny DeVito. He's a climber, you know what you are? What? A tomato. But I thought he won his fight. I think everybody I fight is a bum. Well, ain't they? Oh, you know? so he won, but against somebody who is not great? Hey, hey, hey! Whoa! I dig your locker, man. You didn't have to add insult to injury. 
Good night to catch pneumonia, you know? Okay, I love this little awkward couple. Don't these birds look like candy, you know? Like flying candy? <laughs> Yeah, something like that. By the place I tell a joke. Every morning I pass by the place I tell a joke. Nothing. Maybe try a different tactic, Rocky. This is so wrong with my face, you know what I mean? Well, you got that little, little something going on. Ten minutes late, she calls the hospital. You know who is planning? Poorly. I got it. That's smart. Get your beer walk away with it. You don't have to pay. Oh, wait, that's Steely. Apollo Creed will duplicate the cracking of the Liberty Bell by cracking Mac Lee Green. That's a big promise. See, be a thinker, not a stinker. <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> Be a thinker, not a stinker. Want me to take a shot? All right. Take a shot. Me. <laughs> me. They laugh when you talk dirty, they think you're cute. But after a while, you get a reputation. I got a husband. Come at me. It is what it is. Yo. Screw you, creepo. <laughs> Rocky was just trying to help. Uh. What about all the time Apollo was invested? I believe we can find a solution. So Apollo Creed is like... I don't want to say the bad guy, but he's the opposer, right? And get me Buddy Shaw, hell, he's ranked fifth. Went to California and gained 50 pounds. It do be like that sometimes, shit. Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. Sounds like the job for Rocky. I mean, that's a great marketing tactic. I think that's great. Yeah. Who's this girl you're going out with tomorrow night? He finally talked Adrian into a date. I don't like your face. I don't like your face. <laughs> I don't like your face. 50 bucks. You and your girl, Adrian, you have a nice time, yeah? Thanks. Aw, that's nice. Exactly what are you looking for, Apollo? Is that an actual catalog of local boxers? What would be better than to get it on with one of his descendants? Oh, don't say get it on. It sounds like a damn monster movie. Okay, that man has a very wonderful smile, very straight teeth. You know, last time I had a turkey, it was when they were having a $2 special, Horn and Hard Dogs, about three years. Aw, uh, Rocky's really trying to change the subject, but he's really trying to get the different job. Hey, don't ask nobody twice. Don't ask nobody twice. Really? Because this was your second time asking. Do you sure your sister knows I'm coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adrian doesn't know. <laughs> this is an introvert's worst nightmare. Hey, I want you out of here instamatically. Instamatically? Is that even a word? Go in the alley and eat the bird. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. This is so mean. You hungry, Rock? Well, y'all gonna have to share that one leg because you just threw the whole bird out in the alley. Also, seeing me up in this blanket reminds me of this meme of this old lady from Hoarders. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nothing to talk about. She's in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood. Everybody in this movie's in a bad mood always. I don't know what to say because I ain't never talked to no door before, you know? <laughs> I know all about these. No, you're not the jerk. The jerk's the man who threw the turkey out in the alleyway. We're gonna have a good time. She got ready to go out. Okay, but if it's Thanksgiving, where are they gonna go? Everybody's probably closed. Hey, listen, are you closed to the general public or you just closed to everybody, you know what? <laughs> All right, nine bucks you got a deal. You have the ice to yourself, 10 bucks. $10 for your first day with Adrian. You're a pretty good skater, are you? <laughs> Way better than I would be. I've never ice skated. South Jersey. South Camden, South Paw. Well, look at us learning things together. You see that? Look. Oh, this. that is disgusting. Maybe Rocky, ask something that? about her. Maybe. Stop talking about yourself. Ask something about her. How is she so Ooh. good at ice skating? Well, okay, well, this is in Philadelphia, so I guess people up north are used to doing it. You know, the last fight I had, I had with this guy named Spider Rico. Yeah. He bust my head up there. You see that scar? Wow, so Rocky really just only talks about himself. That's okay. I mean, well, okay, that's she did ask why they fight why he fights, so okay. I think we make a real sharp couple of coconuts. I'm dumb and you're shy. What do you think? This is very cute in its own awkward little way. Look at his face. 64 fights. Look at that nose. See that nose? It's a good nose. Hey, come on. Hey, I got some animals. I got these rare, very rare animals. Adrian, you should do it. It's fun. Do it. Do it. Be brave. Yay! I'm so proud of Adrian, honestly. I got some things in there. I got, uh, if you like, uh, sodas and donuts or something. Not her ideal Thanksgiving, considering her turkey was thrown into the alleyway, but I appreciate the offer. There's big bugs in there, you know. It's safer over here. It's a good tactic. I appreciate that. Yo, Paulie, your sister's with me. I'll call you back later. See ya! <laughs> I thought that was clever. Adrian did not. I've never been in a man's apartment. Well, I have. They're all the same, man. 
I don't think they're all the same, Rocky. Uh, Blake's apartment did not have a mattress strap strapped to the um, door frame with a knife in it. I should go. Don't go, please. Don't, don't go. Don't go. Oh well, don't trap her in the corner like that. That doesn't help her fear. Is she gonna do it? Oh, she's not gonna do it. Okay. That's okay. A lot's happening for her tonight. Oh, she's going back for seconds. There we go. There's the confidence. Get it, Adrian. Good for you, girl. Oh, Adrian's like big in it now. Hey, okay, we're here for this. And we're just gonna sink to the floor, which I guess is equally as good as the newspaper couch. They are big, kitchen. Oh my god. Ah! And instead of that, you became a leg breaker. Oh, and that happened in front of everybody. I have secondhand embarrassment. So right now they're just posing it as practice practice partners, not actually fighting together. Isn't that what sparring means? That dude reminds me of the guy uh, yeah, from the I producers. Uh, Max, obviously not Gene Wilder's character, the other guy. You'd be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the world heavyweight champion. We're not sparring. We're fighting, my guy. It's the chance of a lifetime. You can't pass it by. Do it, Rocky. What do you got to lose? Except the fight. It means if he can't fight, I bet he can cook. <laughs> you get the name Italian Stat. Uh, about eight years ago when I was eating dinner. <laughs> Sometimes the best ideas come from like the pooper, the shower, eating dinner. Also, yes, my blanket is Sarah Paulson. <laughs> hey, you looking to do a good deed? Keep out of my freaking life! Okay, Paulie is going through it. What's this? 500 bucks. Don't worry about it. Wow, he really does be supporting Rocky on his date with Adrian, fighting again. I love that. What? You're in training, huh? Come on. Hey. <laughs> Gotta get healthier now, homie. I know, because I've been in this racket for 50 years. Okay, but you've been shitting on him for six years, and now you want to have his back as hard as a manager does, you know? I got 21 stitches over this left eye. I got 34 stitches. I've never had stitches. Broken arms, sure. Stitches never. You got heart like he did. I got heart, but I ain't got no locker, do I, Mick? <laughs> oh, damn, son. You never helped me. You didn't care. Well, if you wanted help. Good for Rocky for bringing all this up to his attention. I love that for him. Standing up for yourself. Okay, so I'll understand. You come around here. You want to move in here with me? I feel bad for both people in this situation. He's not going to eat that straight, is he? People will drink raw eggs and then get mad at people like me who eat raw cookie dough, screaming salmonella. Nah, check yourself before you wreck yourself, honestly. Are you going to go for a jog and some Converse? I don't feel like those are the best running shoes, but okay. Sorry, my brain is going back to the fact that he drank five raw eggs and is now going for a run. I would have vomited immediately. Come on, friend, you got it. I mean, I couldn't run up all them stairs. Oh, stop stay. swinging him around. Stay. I hate that. And he's pushing him around without gloves on. He's touching it. Oh, that's so gross. I don't know, gaps. She's got gaps. I got gaps. Together we full gaps. I don't know. That makes sense. And it's slightly romantic when you think about it. It's getting cold in here. I think I'm going home. Cold in here? It's cold in here! Okay, so Polly's really unhappy with his life, and he's taking it out on everybody. Hey, AJ, I'm serious now. <laughs> She said no! <laughs> we'll get some extra cardio in. That's what I look like in kickboxing class. This is exactly it. She does! She's so pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Aww! Stop it! I love this! What's that, Burgess? Huh? Whose truck is this? Come on. It literally says W A U C News. That's whose truck it is, Rocky. Rocky, do you know how ridiculous you look punching these slabs of meat on television? Ridiculous. Hella. I would want to think that you would want to stay pretty private so they can't study how he's going to be fighting, you know? Oh, they're just now realizing that, like, the Italian stallion, sure, that's a clever name, but, like, dude could really punch. Oh, Polly, oh, baby. You are struggling. We've all been there. Get out of my house. It's not just your house. Good for Adrian. Well, they don't work for you. Wow, Polly. Okay. You're supposed to be good to me. What? She is good to you. Do you remember when she was making a whole ass turkey for Thanksgiving? Your bitch ass threw it down the alley. What roommate? <laughs> Maybe just say let's live together, since you know he'll be roommates with benefits. It's okay. I talk to you. Okay, you talk to me. I don't know. After you showed your ass like you did, I don't know. 
Oh damn, that's crazy. I can't even do a regular push up. I didn't think about it, them having to take punches to like strengthen that aspect of their body, you know. This is when he runs up the stairs. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> oh, so he's at the ring. He's like scoping it out. Pretty cool setup. And that whole place is going to be filled with people. The majority of which rooting against you for Apollo Creed. You know what? I'm excited. I want to get to the fight. Let's get to the fight. I'm tired of waiting. I mean, I know it's the climax of the movie and it's been building up to this point, but like, I'm excited about it. Let's kick some ass. What is this? What is this doing? What, what is happening? What kind of ritual is happening to get them started fighting? Well, how about I wait here and you fight, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, thank you. Fighter, not a billboard. I'm doing it for a friend. Oh, Polly gets three grand. The meat company for Polly. That's very nice. Oh my god, this is so extra. This is ridiculous. His team really thought that was a good idea. His team really said, let's do this. His team should be fired. Foreign countries during World War One. Oh, he's really putting on the theatrics. I love that mint suit. That is a sharp color. They must be friends. Yes, Rocky. Very good with the context clues. So is Apollo Creed gonna take off that ridiculous hat and outfit or we just gonna fight as Uncle Sam? I'm so nervous right now. Rocky, put your hands up! Guard your face, baby! Oh, wait a second. He hasn't been hitting him. He's just been faking him out. Holy shite! Damn, son! Come on, Rocky. Get your life together, Fred. Nice, nice. There we go, Rocky. Your nose is broke. How's it look? That's an improvement. <laughs> It's an improvement. Apollo Creed wanted to show Rocky came to fight and now Apollo Creed's like, oh shit, I done messed up. I mean, listen, Apollo Creed is absolutely ripped. You can see all his muscle ripples. I mean, I love that even the stage girls, like, they stayed on theme and I love that. Okay, so Rocky's getting beat the hell up. He's not gonna win, is he? Rocky, baby, you can't even see. Your eyes are so swollen. What are you gonna do? I haven't said anything a little bit because I've been so invested in this fight scene. Cut me? Cut his... What are you... Oh my god! What just happened? I am way more invested in this than I, than I thought I was going to be. There you go. Body shots. Hurt him. Take out his face. There we go. No rematch. Don't want one. It's over. Nobody went down. So how do you know who wins? Well, I didn't expect that right now. It's over. Are you? Okay, we gotta talk about this because I'm mad. You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me, this two hour movie spent the first hour and a half building up to this fight between him and Apollo Creed. He goes the distance. And somehow Apollo Creed still wins uh, because I don't want to poop on this movie for not knowing the rules of boxing. Does that make sense? So, how did Apollo Creed win in Rocky? Like, literally how? After going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the final round, Creed is knocked down by a left from Balboa with Balboa falling down in exhaustion. Rocky gets up. Wait, is this based on a true story? The first film ends with Rocky losing by judge's decision, his fight against the heavyweight champion Apollo Creed, but winning a more personal victory by going the distance, making it through all the 15 rounds. Oh, I thought it was only three rounds. 15 rounds in the ring. So I understand that dude was like, it's kind of a tie. Whatever. But what breaks a f tie? Also, is this based off a true story? The story, first film is loosely, ins loosely inspired by Chuck Wepner. A boxer who fought Muhammad Ali and lost on a TKO in the 15th round. The inspiration for the name came from the legend Rocco Francis, which he was the dude on the poster in Rocky's bedroom. So he was a real guy. Did y'all know Muhammad Ali is actually from Kentucky? Anyways, I did not know that until I worked in radio in Kentucky. Okay, so 
that's kind of obnoxious. I was really hoping for this beautiful underdog story that Rocky was gonna win because he went. So I know, okay, whatever. Personal grow, personal achievement, going the full, go, you know, going the distance. And then you have Adrian, like, I love you, and he's like, I love you too. Like, that's good job. But how are they gonna have this underdog of a story and then him not win? And especially to last that long and serve that many blows, and he still doesn't win. I don't know how a tie. <laughs> Oh, so the judges just talk to each other and they decide amongst themselves. Whatever. I think that's a BS. I think Rocky should have won that, number one. You know what? Okay. So I loved, I did not know that Rocky was going to have like this interesting of a love story. Adria was very introverted and shy, but she liked Rocky, but he had a lot going on, you know. And then just, I loved the different aspects of this movie. Like you really got to know Rocky. Like he was boxing, but he also had to work as a collector because he never went professional with boxing because he never could have a manager because the dude was like focused on other people. And then he liked this girl that he saw at a pet store. So he ended up buying two turtles and a goldfish because he just like going in there so much and talking to her and he needed an excuse to keep going back in there. Now they live together and they love each other and they're very sweet. I'm gonna get, listen, this ending pisses me off so much. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when this, sorry, there was a hair, I looked like I was fixing your hair, but there was a hair on the lens, whatever. When this first started, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be such a bro movie, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. I really ended up enjoying this movie, but, but, and it's a big but, I am going to give this movie four out of five stars because I hate that Rocky lost, and then looking up that split decisions are decided on the three judges talking to each other, I think, you know, the judges didn't want to say that Apollo Creed wasn't the winner because he was the world champion. You know what I mean? Like, Rocky clearly held his own, and if it was a tie, he clearly did well enough that he should have won against the world champion, in my opinion. But what the hell do I know about boxing? Absolutely nothing other than I've officially seen Rocky. So I personally am going to give this movie four out of five stars because I don't see a logical reason as to why Rocky would not have won that fight. And I am very passionate as if this is like a real fight, like a real thing that happened. Like this is a real sporting event that was done dirty. I am upset about that. I loved Adrienne's character. She was beautiful, by the way. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think I was going to like this. And I did. I did. Anyway, so four out of five stars. Because maybe you can explain to me in the comments how like this justifies Rocky losing. You know, if I'm missing something, which I probably am. I'll admit that wholeheartedly. Please explain to me down below because I really don't understand how Rocky lost that if it were a draw. But I stand by my four out of five stars, okay? So that's what I have. That's that on that about that. And that's where I stand on that. Thank you so much to my Millennium Movie member for supporting the channel like you do. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around because Monday is going to be trading places. And I hear there's, um, we see a little bit more eh, of Jamie Lee Curtis. So... I'm excited about the movie. I hope you stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse, and I'll see you right back here on Monday.